Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If by chance you're new here. Hello, my name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands. I do paper crafting, junk journaling, junk journal related projects and the occasional vintage treasure hunting. Uh, today is such a day. I want to do a haul for you guys. This haul is going to have some vintage treasures. Some uh, vintage treasures that I bought from some friends of mine on Instagram. I have a very small AliExpress haul that I want to share with you. And I went to my local craft shop that I got some nice small goodies. But I think I want to sh uh, start with all the vintage goodies. Most of you guys uh, may know that I went away with my husband this weekend on a lovely trip to the southern part of our country. Yes, we went to a castle, had a culinary adventure. It was amazing, fantastic. Um, and while we were there, we had the plan to visit an antique flea market and lots of uh, thrift shops. Yeah, so we made the plan. We did that. However, uh, I must say I was a little bit disappointed. Yes, I thought I would find lots of treasures because we we visited seven thrift shops. Yeah, if I visit seven thrift shops in my area, uh, I would have to order a trolley to get every, everything into the house. But nonetheless, I did score some beautiful items. I got a lovely email from a subscriber that told me when you're in that area, visit this one, this one, this one, this one. We did. We visited all of them. And although they were lovely, um, I mean, they were in castles and big barns and I love the, the, well, the setting. Uh, however, they didn't have a lot of stuff that I really liked or it was so expensive. So this is the first one. Um, nothing was priced in the shop and that... Um, already bothered me a little bit and it worried me because I didn't know where well, what you're gonna pay for it so I was very careful to pick out my treasures uh, and I went to the counter and there was a lady behind the counter that told me what the price of this was and then a, a lovely man that told me what the price of this was so let's do the lady first yes uh, she told me price and I was like I don't think so so I have this big roll of ribbon it's with the um, sort of wire in it so you can make lovely bows uh, I like it I don't love it but I liked it and there's a lot on here she told me the price I was shocked I was like I don't think I want to buy this and uh, then she showed me this it's like a table runner it is old and very dirty it is actually I thought it was sort of the print it's like it's marbled no it's not it's really really dirty so I have to wash it but it is a vintage piece then this little embroidered piece over here that I really like I, I think this is from Germany because uh, the place where I went to um, you can have on one side there's Germany the Netherlands and Belgium like at one sort of point yeah and this is, it is lovely. This is a pillowcase, a vintage one. This is from very old bedding. It, it does look good. So I had this. I had a couple more items. Well, I had some stationery. Uh, old, but not that old. Like from the 90s or something. And um, to be honest, the prices that she asked for that were ridiculous. Ridiculous. So I did say no thank you very much to that one. And then the gentleman, I, and I was worried because, um, yeah, there are three antique Bibles in here. There were a lot of Bibles in the thrift shops because uh, in the southern part of the Netherlands, uh, it's very Catholic and uh, a lot of old people. So it was full of religious sort of statues and crosses, crucifixes. And so very lovely. Uh, and I do sort of collect old Bibles and these were very special. So I really want to show you these ones. Uh, and then I found this very old sort of calendar. And I was like, well, it's old paper. It's yellowed. I think in a thrift shop locally, I would pay like 20 cents for this. But okay. And then this is a filling for like uh, a planner in a very old casing. So it is sort of vintagey with some uh, telephone uh, number thingies and I don't know. It's paper, so I thought, why not? I did like this one. Again, vintage. Um, it says Opbergmap. It's like a map, like a folder. An accordion folder, like this. Oh, you see? I do like these. 
it's from old people it's so it's so cute like this is for the doctors and for um gas and lighting and airmail telephone i don't know some stuff i really really like those so she told me the price for this one and this was eight euros um i would buy this for three at most i must say because these probably would be like 50 cents 50 cents 50 cents was 150 and then this for 150 so i was i was like well, i don't know but then the gentleman for all of this including the bible says seven euros and i was like i don't get it i don't get it but hey let me show the bibles uh then you'll see why i took everything i didn't want to offend people so uh yeah i bought this because this was really cheap love them they are all they are uh, all three very different it's from 1929 it is in french uh, and it has lots of music it is like psalms and and such and little treasures like this so yeah i was really really happy with this yeah look at that i love it uh, it's 1929 i think i can scan these um because there's no copy in the netherlands it's less than um 100 years so this is copyright free. I love it. So very cute one. I'm um, saving this one for less because I'm in love with this one. Then this one, look, it's almost like it has some binding on here. Yeah, I really like it. Uh, it has some loose pages in here. Look at the gilding on here. It's almost like, well, it, I think this is leather, of course. Yeah. And then the pages, they used to be like gold. But I love the font and all the red in here. This is in Latin, I believe. So cute. It had some treasures in here. Like some of these loose pages that have something. It's, it's in French. Lovely. So it's in French and in Latin. So either way, no. No, I cannot. I don't know, know what it is. But it is, um, well, probably it's a Bible that I know for sure. It had some treasures. I believe it has one... Um, uh, it's called devotional card, I believe. There was one in here somewhere. But I like it. It's beautiful. Love the paper. I do not know if I can take myself to, uh, you know, tear it apart. Probably, I probably won't. Well, it has, and then it had all of these loose papers already loose, so I can use this. <laughs> yeah, I love it with the red on it. It, I, I thought it had a devotional card, but it didn't. Maybe the other one. Then this one, really, really pretty. Uh, it is falling apart. See, it's yeah. This is supposed to be on here. Look at that! Isn't that gorgeous? It's so beautiful. Yeah, it, it gets better. It gets even better. Yeah, I love it. The images on here. 1931. Yeah, with tissue paper in between. Isn't it magnificent? I love this. Look at this. That is gorgeous. I am going to scan that. So yeah, it's full of this. It's full, completely full. Again, uh, well, no, this is in French. This is not in Latin. This is French. Yeah, and there's a devotional card in here. Yes, so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Uh, so yes, uh, I paid in total uh, 15 euros for this. Uh, I would have paid like 25 for these three Bibles, so that's why i did buy them so lovely that was one shop that i'm probably not gonna visit again i am sorry but hey it was like uh, a couple of hundred kilometers from my home so it wasn't very likely to visit this one but let me show you the next one because it does get better of the seven thrift shops that we visited i only bought at three of them yes there were four that i was like i am sorry there's nothing here for me. So I bought this one at a one of them. Uh, it's beautiful. It's German. I think it says Herman and Dorothea. <laughs> I believe so. It's it's all German Gothic font. It wasn't that expensive. 250 Very, very nice, reasonable price for this. I love this sort of paper. And this, of course, it is beautiful. It says 1884. That could well be. That could well be because it looks like. So it has a story. Uh, but um, well, uh, Herman and Dorothea, apparently, uh, and has all of these lovely sort of images in here. These are uh, stuck on here. 
Yeah, it's not print. It's not printed on this paper. It was printed on different paper and then stuck on. But I do look at the font. So beautiful. So very large pages. Uh, again, these were like um, gilded or something like that. Do it with gold. Um, a beautiful text in like sort of a frame. I love that. Very big book. And lots of these images. Well, lots. I think about ten or twenty or something like that. But I do, I do like them. Look at that! Isn't she cute? It's, oh, well, she's that's probably Herman and she's Dorothea, and they are awesomely cute. Yes. So yeah, a very nice find. Yeah. Um, if you're from German Germany and you have heard of this story from Dorothea and and uh, Herman. Uh, well, and, and you can tell me something about it. Let me know. But I love this. Oh, look at that. Oh, I especially love this one. And this with all tape. Yes. So very, very nice find. I also really love the cover. It is way too big to make a journal out of. What you could do is saw this in half and then make a journal. That You could do that. Maybe. I'm not going to do it because I'm going to keep it as is. And now for the best uh, thrift shop that I've visited. And then for my favorite thrift shop. Yeah, I really like this one. Let me tell you, most of them were in uh, like an old farm or castle or big sort of mansion. And they had courtyards. And from the courtyards, you could sort of access different parts of barns and such. So it had there are the books and there are the, the furniture and the clothing. And this one has sort of a haberdashery <laughs> part in it. It has all, had all sorts of uh, fabrics and laces and, you know, lovely uh, fabric stuffs. I didn't find any woolies, but hey. So let me show you what I found there. I found this lovely trim. I, I think this is vintage. It is beautiful. Look at the colors when you're making a boho journal or anything. Yeah, I, I really like it. I don't have anything like this in these colors. Then I picked this up. Very big sort of spool of, of lace in a baby blue. Love the pattern. Sort of Art Deco-ish. Oh, it could also be like an owl. Or a pig. <laughs> Pig's nose. And big, big eyes. Yeah, I like it. It, ha it has a whole spool. And it also had um, this. It is like a white cotton uh, brodery. We call it brodery. Like trim. It's cut off something. Yeah, so I really like these. Then they had a lot of handkerchiefs. And I collect handkerchiefs. I love them. Especially the very old ones, of course. What do you do with them? I make pockets. With these, yes, just, you know, um, sometimes corner pockets or you can make pockets with these. So that's why I collect them. I really love these beautiful florals. Look at this one oh, with the yellow roses. And it has four of them because it has four corners. So you can make four pockets. Ladies, uh, don't be like, Ugh. yes, yuck. I am not going to blow my nose in this. I'm going to uh, wash them again and they're going to be in journals. So I'm not going to wipe my nose with these now. This is actually, I think this is a little bit more, more modern, but I do like it. It is completely sort of see-through, but look at the butterflies on here. Yes, I'm not going to cut this up. I'm going to think of another project to do with these. So yeah, I love these. There are two small treasures in here that I was really excited about, but they're at the end. These have, lo oh, have lovely florals. I think most of these are from 60s, 50s, 60s. I don't know. It is printed on here. These are not embroidered. I have one or two embroidered pieces in here. A very small one. Isn't that just too cute? So cute. Love the colors on these. And look at the uh, edges. Yeah, I love them. This is with some yellow trim and yellow flowers. Again, the orange. Oh. Isn't that lovely? I love it. This is this is embroidered. Yeah, lovely little piece. I bought 15 because I wanted to have it sort of added up to a certain amount. So I bought this one. I wasn't really excited about this one. Uh, but the other ones were like old gentlemen's ones with stripes on them. And I did like the print, but it's full of holes. But that makes it even more fantastic. And now for the ones that I really, really liked. Look at these. Yes, it's Holly Hobby. I don't know about you guys, but when I was a little girl, like five or six, or maybe up until eight, <laughs> I, Holly Hobby was my hero. I loved her and Sarah Kay. To me, they're sort of the same. I know they're not the same, but to me, they're the same. 
Yeah, I love this. With the kitty. I'm not going to cut these up. I've been collecting Holly Hobby, Sarah K sort of ephemera for a while now. And I will eventually, uh, eventually do um, uh, a journal, of course. Eventually. 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 I'm sorry. I'm very tired, guys. I have slept like uh, seven hours in two days. The hotel was so warm. I couldn't sleep. Okay, so and then I found these. These were with the um, handkerchief, but they're actually napkins. And I love these. Yes, for a kitchen journal, for a recipe journal. Uh, love them with all the fruits and the vegetables on them. I found two. And I also found the placemat that went with it. This is a uh, padded. Yeah, is that the right word? So uh, it's very easy. Well, sort of easy to make a journal cover out of this. You have to sort of trim it here and there. Uh, I am not a seamstress or a quilter or anything like this. So to me, this is already halfway done. Yeah, so I lo love this one. Also found a Christmassy one. Yeah, maybe this is an idea. If you're at a thrift shop and looking for, you know, fabrics to make journal covers from. Or go look at the placemats and the table runners. And such. It's very green. So, very Christmassy. Now for the fabrics, I found this one. It's a little bit modern. It's it's sort of shiny. It has big dots and flowers. But I thought it was interesting. Yeah, so why not? This was actually, a, a well, it still is a tablecloth. I love it. It's very sort of 70s, orangey, flower power, fall type. And it's a bunch. It's a whole thing. Need to wash it and see if some st stains will come out. I think I will share this with you. What I also will share with you is this. I found denim or jeans, however you want to call it. A bunch. It is very heavy material. I, I So many, so many ideas come up when I look at this. Uh, this would have been wonderful for like uh, the horse uh, lover's journal. Um, but you can do something steampunky with this. Something a little bit more masculine. You can also do a flower power um, uh, journal. I love it. I have a bunch and uh, I don't need all of this. So I am going to share this with you. So that was it for my thrift shops, I guess. Um, then we went to um, an antique flea market. It was huge. It was huge. It has. It was like a car boot sale type of thing. It has four. It had four hundred fifties booths, car booths, or whatever you want to call it. Four hundred and fifty. Uh, the parking lot for the visitors was enormous. We had to walk about ten minutes to get through the gate <laughs> uh, on there. Um, and I only find three items. So it was very disappointing. I was I was looking forward to that. But they are gorgeous. Let me get them. I did not find this one. But I just wanted to show you. You've probably seen me use this. This is Le Petit La Rousse. I love this. I bought it for $150. That is an absolute steal. That is for free. Uh, it is an, a, a French encyclopedia. You have a couple of different um, issues from uh, um, of these. This is a more modern one. You have a beautiful one with like an art deco lady on there. It's orange. And I don't have that one. But you know. Someday, someday. It is an encyclopedia and it has like uh, also sort of pictures in them. Little images, uh, some photographs. Uh, but uh, what I love mostly are these sort of colored um, images. Let me get a really nice one. This is one is with medals. And look at the mushrooms. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. So um, why are you showing this? Because this is Le Petit La Rouge. Which sort of indicate there is like a Grand La Rouge. I don't know. But look what I found. Nouveau La Rouge Universel. Volume 1 and Volume 2. They are so heavy. My poor husband. Yeah. He had to carry these all over the place. Uh, they're very uh, thick. This is A2K and this is then L2C. So I have everything on here. Love the covers. It has some structure of a sun in here. And oh. yes, it is basic. Look at this. Yeah, basically it is Petit La Rousse, but then in like the big form on steroids. 
petite la rouge on steroids. I believe so. I don't. I don't really know. I could be completely mistaken. This could be something comp completely different. But I think it's it's basically the same. This was from 1948, so. It's not an antique yet, but I do like it. It has the the same idea in it. I have not ch uh, checked out if it has the exact same pages, but the idea is the same. This is with all sorts of woods. Look at the deer. You can make wonderful posters, folk poster stamp with these. Love the paper. It's very big. Um, it's very thin. It's old. It's yummy. It has maps in here. What is this? Paintings. I did also see, oh, look at that, with the old airplanes. Yeah, I just love that. So, yeah, this is from 1948. Oh, look at that. What? Oh, um, I, I am going to scan them. Uh, but I don't know if I can, I, I think I can share it. But I'm going to do some more research. So, I have these two from 1948. But the gentleman that sold these to me also had this one he only had uh this one which is volume two l to z it is i think the same but this one look at the inside so beautiful this one is from 19 num, 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 uh much older well not much older but a lot older 1923 look so gorgeous let's let's check is this l to z uh, what's the first page on L to Z? Is it the same? No. No, it is different. This is the same lady. Yes. Look. It says Louise Labbe. And this is Louise Labbe. So the contents is the same. But the illustrations are not. This is a little bit older paper. It has some... Oh, I love these. Like blues in here look this blueprint look at this well this is from 1923 so yeah this is going to be scanned and it will make for a lovely sort of uh ephemera piece journal card so yes i'm gonna do something with these and then on the other side it's printed in this blue like this denim blue yeah oh you love it oh look at the butterflies i'm sorry i haven't looked i haven't flipped through these just you know for a second and i was like oh what's he gonna ask for this one oh what yeah um it was a steal it was a steal it was a steal do you want to know the price you're gonna be mad it wasn't this deal no i paid uh 10 euros for all three that is ridiculous. I said, thank you very much, mister. And then handed them to, to my husband. I believe this is like 15 kilos or something. <laughs> at least. Oh, at least this is more than 5 kilos. Yeah. Wonderful. So that was it for my the treasures from my trip. I have a couple of other treasures that I want to share with you. This came from one of my friends on Instagram. Her name is uh, Barbara Crea Bea Bar. Um, I don't know if she sells uh, internationally overseas. I don't know. I haven't asked her. If she if she does, I will link her shop uh, below. She has some wonderful treasures now and then. She's not open all the time. She, you know, not frequently sells stuff. But now and then, she has some beautiful stuff. She had a whole bunch of these. Yes, these are sort of old, small cookbooks. They're not that old, but they look like um, 50s. They're not. They're from the 70s. Um, and they remind me of the Better Homes and Garden uh, cookbook that I love so much. You know, the one with the big red gingham on it. So I bought these for, um, yeah, my uh, cookbook um, journal one day at one point i will make one look at that yeah i love that so it has some french cheeses chicken and turkey 50 culinary adventures with eggs <laughs> something that i would sort of come up with yes um yeah so it has some images in here i just i just love them fondue you know the best thing about fondue about especially about cheese fondue or chocolate fondue you dip food into other food and then you eat it. It's brilliant. It is brilliant. So yeah, these were from the 70s, I believe. Yes. Uh, 1972 until 1978. Snacks. 
Yes, I can. Normally I'd say I'm hungry now, but I had an eight course meal yesterday. It was fantastic. I am not going to eat until next Friday, I guess. Yes. So yeah, I, I bought these. Let me get these out of the way because these are beautiful treasures. This is a very uh, old um, Jacques Bétaise. These are uh, cigarette cards or, um, or something, tea cards with mushrooms. I have this one, but I don't have a second one. So I bought this one because I want to take out all the beautiful cigarette cards out of this one. It is gorgeous. It's missing some of them, but I don't mind. I don't mind. And she had a very good price. So thank you very much, Barbara. Yeah, I love it. I love it. So yeah, I'm going to totally deconstruct this one. And then she sold sets, sort of ephemera, small ephemera sets with uh, lovely vintage uh, paper goodies. Uh, I did sort them all out uh, by, sort, by sort now. These are all sort of postcards from 1958. I do like them. With uh, This says, um, I have moved. I've changed my address. So these are these cards. And other just lovely ones. Old ones, yeah, from the 60s, and these are all postcard. Um, um, these are not postcards, huh? What are they called? Envelopes. I'm sorry, still, I'm very, very tired. 1933 could be, yes. Yeah, so these are old. Look at they are lined with um, they're falling apart with this purple tissue paper, isn't that fantastic? Yeah, I love them. So, bunch of these. Oh, yeah. And then this one. This is very old. 1921. Lots of them. You know, I had to have that one. Yeah, again, this is it is falling apart. But I don't mind. It's beautiful old paper. Yep, it's from Germany. I love the green color on here. And this like a big a sort of um, oh, check. It's a check. For 18 guilders and 65 cents. Which would have been like a bunch in 1921 yeah i think this would have been a whole a big amount then this is french note the medicaments i don't know it's like uh medicaments it, it sounds like something from a pharmacy telephone number 47 yeah from the same company 1952 and this is handwritten lovely handwritten in uh is this French? No, it's just Dutch and French. Yeah, it's, two, it's in two languages. Look at this handwriting. Isn't that beautiful? It's from 1964. No, 46, huh? I do not know this language. Looks sort of German to me. Yeah, just lovely old pieces of paper that's been written on. So yeah, I had to buy these. I had to buy these. I bought four packs. This is not Juliana. This is her mother, Wilhelmina. Yeah, aren't these lovely? So yeah, very happy with these. Uh, the piece that I can scan, I will scan. So this came from the lovely Barbara. Uh, I have another shop that I want to share with you. And I will link her below. Because I have had so many questions about this shop. And you really need to visit her. Let me show you. Even if you've seen just a couple of my videos, you've seen me use this booklet. Yes, this is like a vintage poster stamp album. And this is filled with labels. These are sticker labels. You have to cut them out. They come on a big piece. All sorts of colors, all sorts of sizes with numbers in them. I love them. I You hear me talk about these all the time. They come from a friend of mine on Instagram. Her name is Sandra. She's a lovely lady. Her uh, Instagram account is Old Made Awesome. That's her creative account. Her shop account is Oma for Copes. It's really it's very Dutch. Um, I I will link it below. Yes, because if I have to spell it out, you'll be like what? So she makes these labels. I I've gotten so many questions about these the last couple of well months even. Where did you get the labels? They are so wonderful. And sometimes I, I link her shop below. The problem is that Sandra only has these once and once and again. Well, now and then. Uh, so I had a lovely chat with her and I told her, Sandra, I have so many 
subscribers, viewers, um, that are asking about these, why not take this like as a permanent item in your shop? Yeah, that so you can sell them again and again. And she was like, Margaret, that is a fantastic idea. So disclaimer, um, she sent me all the new ones that she has for free as a gift so I can show them to you. So I, I need to get it out there. I'm not being paid for this, but she sent me these. And it's very, very lovely. Thank you, Sandra, because, you know, I'm going to use them a lot. This is one with a multicolors on them. Yes, lovely. Then this is sort of, let's call it black soot. This is in a Christmassy green. I just love these. Different sizes for so many projects. And very, very handy because they're stickers. Uh, let's say ground espresso. Yep. Beautiful red color, like an old red color. Yep. Sagey green. I love this blue, but I especially love this blue. Yeah, because this reminds me of... Where do I have these? Is it in here? No, these are my Erno stickers. I don't know. I have um, real ones of these. Like the Gant labels. They have a special name, but I don't know. I, I love the real ones. And they are these colors. Like these beautiful Gant labels. And this is like, vintage, let's say vintage photo. So I've gotten all of these. And another item that she sells really, really well are these doilies. She makes these. These are handmade. Um, she sells them very quickly because people love them. What she does is, and that this is a brilliant idea, she takes like normal uh, magazines, like modern images, and then makes doilies out of them. And, and like a gazillion. Yes. It's just, you know, it makes for a lovely effect. Don't you just love this? Sometimes I like the backs even more. See, you can use them both sides this side or the back is like orangey there are some in here like this one i love that blue this is supposed to be the front i love the back even more so yeah she has these sets of doilies normally they come with some other pieces of ephemera that go uh, along with that in the same color scheme love them beautiful little set i do not know the price by heart i do know they are dirt cheap yes they're very cheap and this weighs nothing do you want my advice, ladies, if you like these labels? Um, buy every color. Yeah. Uh, then you have like a pile of this. It weighs nearly nothing. It fits in an envelope. It's going to be a couple of stamps on there. And it will show up at your house very uh, quickly. Yeah. If I'm going to send a package out, like a big box out, it will take about two months to get there. If Sandra were to send this to you to, you know, Canada, New Zealand wherever you are uh it will take like a week or so yeah so highly recommend these i will link her shop below guys in order to buy this you need to have an instagram account same as with my shop go visit her and then uh, you'll see a post with these um uh, labels and just uh, comment on them can i have one two three a gazillion please yes um, she does speak English. I know she speaks English because she, I think she visits America, the States, quite often. However, I think her posts are for, for these ones in Dutch at the moment. And I'm going to ask her if she can make these in English. So it's better for you to understand. But they cost about between one and two euros a piece. Uh, so that's nearly nothing. And shipping is also about the same price. So it's going to be fine. Um, yeah, so, um, advertisement piece for Sandra. Thank you so much, Sandra, again, for sending these, uh, to me. Um, and she was thanking me. How lovely of you to help me. Of course, love. I mean, honestly, you deserve it. This is so much work to make, guys. Uh, I, I rather buy them from her than make them myself. Yeah, and, and then as a, as a thank you, I'm going to share it with you guys because she's so lovely. She was like, thank you so much for doing this. Of course, love. She sent me um, a care package. A package with beautiful vintage paper. Uh, some Chinese, I, I, don't, I don't, Oriental. And this is in German from 1964. This is a piece to, you know, do a horoscope 
on. It's very unusual, but like it's really nice and yellowed. And then some uh, two beautiful pieces of ledger. Amazing. 1895. Look at this handwriting. Yeah, I'm going to scan it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to scan this one. I'm going to keep it. And then this. Um, <coughs> sorry. I had a frog in my throat. Very big one with very tiny handwriting. I love it. So, yeah. Thank you, Sandra, for this lovely little gift that you sent me. Um, two more quick things that I want to show you guys. This I ordered on AliExpress. It took a long while to get here, especially this one. Yeah. Um, uh, they're okay. I'm not going to link any of these because I'm not like, yeah, they're fantastic. Uh, and also, I don't know if I am ever going to link AliExpress things because, you know, there's a little bit of controversy around them. I needed to have a small brayer. Why did I need to have a small brayer? Because I have... Oh, where are they? Quickly, yeah. I have this set. I've had this for months now. <clears throat> yeah, I've got this in, in August. Uh, I've seen Tim Holtz use these. These are dies, dies, yeah. But you need to sort of ink them with a brayer, like so. And then it makes for lovely labels. Brayers can be expensive. This was like two bucks or something. And <laughs> I, I thought, you know, try something like this. Very poor quality, but I am going to use it. Then this is used for dies as, as well. Especially when you have these sort of intricate dies where everything gets stuck. And I'm, I think you're supposed to sort of roll over it and then it falls out or the stuff falls out. It doesn't. No, uh, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Or this, this is actually absolutely rubbish. But let me tell you, ladies. If you have, if you wash dishes with like a brush. Yeah, I do they have that? Well, they have that in the Netherlands. Afwasborstel. <laughs> it's like a dish brush. Uh, it's the same. It's basically the same. So go to Ikea. <laughs> go to Ikea and buy a dishwashing brush for like 50 cents or something. Um, it was, this was more expensive than 50 cents. It also has poke two on the end. I don't know. It's rubbish. Um, and I, I, I have uh, bought this set with washi tapes that I do like. I like them. They are very papery. It's like more paper tape than washi tape. Uh, I have one with advertisements with a map, music, don't really care for this one. With these sort of um, tickets, I have real ones, yeah. This alphabet, really nice. I do. I bought them for these three, because I really like this. Fragile, handle with care. And this has, I don't know, it's Tim Holtzy to me. Yeah, some ledger or something. Again, looks very Tim Holtzy. So that's why I bought it. And they were not that expensive. And they have... A quite an amount on them for AliExpress. Yeah, you should buy. You should buy. Um, Elizabeth Craft Designs. Look at the the amount that you have on here compared to this. See, it's more than double. Yeah. Okay. So this was my AliExpress haul. Um, and then some stuff that I bought at my local crabs cra crab shop. Craft shop. <laughs> it's not a crab shop. No, although I love crap, um, but not crap. <laughs> Let me show you. Before I went on our little trip, I visited Do A Ding, my favorite craft shop. Yes, it's the one that I met Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. And I bought some goodies to show you and to share with you um, on my channel. Let me tell you guys, um, I use the Kofi Money. From your donations and from uh, the digitals that I sell um, to buy these sort of goodies. So I want to, you know, what you give to me, I'm going to give back to you in a sense. In a sense. Speaking of which, I have a list, of course. Yes, I have a list. I want to thank a couple of uh, people. I want to thank Nancy, Eileen, Elise, Christine, Sharon, Jane, Marie and Annette. Um... Thank you guys so much for your donations and for all your purchases. I really, really ap appreciate it. I am going to have another set on there by the end of this week. Yes, I will make a big announcement. Also, um, I need to apologize. Well, not apologize. 
I'm so sorry, guys, that I have not answered any emails or comments this weekend because, you know, I was sort of on a holiday. So I'm trying to, you know, really get back to it. So if you have not received um, an answer to your email asking for Thelma and Louise or uh, placing a comment without me even noticing it, I'm sorry, I will get to it by the end of the day. So um, thank you for hanging in there with me. Let me show you what I bought at Duoding. I invested in two more Tim Holtz items. One of them is this pair of scissors. It's getting really, really dark, guys. I hope you can still see. I put on my lights. Uh, I think we're going to have a storm any moment now. Um, yes, these scissors. I have the big brother of this one. Well, the bigger brother. This one. I, I really enjoy it. I don't... Is it 8 inch? I don't really know. Is it 8 inches? Uh, let's see. The other way around. I don't know how many inches this is. I like this one. Um, I use it all the time. But these are more like fussy cutting ones. I don't know. They're less heavy. They're more pointy. Um, I recommend these scissors. I do. Yes, it is an investment. But I think they're much better than, you know, the, any other ones that you can buy. So I thought I invest in in one of them. I still want to have the tallest one, the longest one, the big ones. I really want to have that. And what I also invested in are these tapes. Aren't these lovely? Yes. It's called what's well, design tape? Does it have a name? Jim's garniture. They are expensive. Well, you know, for tape that is expensive, but you get a lot, and there's a lot on the tape as well. So I really like these. These are, I believe, um, quarter inch or a quarter inch, I guess. I guess so. I want to use them. Then what I found was Kathy Holden. Kathy Holden. I didn't even know you could buy this in the Netherlands. If you don't know who Kathy Holden is, I don't know her personally. She could be from, you know, Zeeland, Drenthe or around my corner. Because, you know, Els lives around the corner. Um... Uh, but but I believe she's um, probably American. Yeah. Uh, if you watch Gail Ocostinelli, you've probably heard of Kathy Holden. She has beautiful fabrics. Unfortunately, my craft, uh, craft shop... My craft shop. I am so, I'm still so tired. <laughs> my craft shop doesn't sell any of her fabrics. Um, this is a sticker book. I was a little bit afraid that these were glossy stickers. Uh, this was sort of glued down so I couldn't check. But I just I took a chance. And they're not. No, they're matte. They're pretty. I love the colors. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to use these. Yeah, I could hoard them, but I'm not going to. No, I am. I have decided that I am going to use them. And then it also came uh, with the set of uh, printed die cuts. Yes, they remind me of um, the Tim Holtz ones. Uh, they are a little bit thinner. And I don't mind that because um, if you're going to use the, the bigger Tim Holtz one, the heavier ones, they are very nice on a project like a shadow box or like a birthday card. But in a journal, I would love them to be a little bit you know, thinner. So I love these. So yeah, very happy with my new uh, purchases. So I have to thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for giving me the opportunity to do um, such things. And that is it for today's video. So thanks guys for hanging out with me uh, today. I am sorry I made so many sort of mistakes. That's because have I told you I'm tired? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really tired. Um, thanks for hanging out with me. I'll be back again tomorrow with a crafty video. Uh, I had a couple of questions about the um, Rolodex ABC. Are you still doing that series? I am. I am just not going to do it every week. Uh, because I have lots of ideas and sometimes it gets in the way with um, with the Rolodex ABC. I'm really sorry, but I'm going to have a Rolodex ABC this week. The letter is going to be I. I'm struggling. Yes, I'm going to sort of um, spoil. Spoiler alert. I'm going to use Italy and insect. I really don't know about the third one. So, if you have any suggestions, please, please put it in the comments box down below. Um, so, I'm going to do that tomorrow or the day after. And I am also going to do a round a circle label video that I promised you. Yes, I'm going to do that this week. 
Um, I'll be back again tomorrow, as I mentioned. Yes. Thank you so much, guys, for all your comments and your emails um, uh, this week. I will answer them as soon as I wake up. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye, guys.